Hello everyone, this is Jaden Dunn from Kiss My Glass Antiques and today we're at Valley 65 in Ozark, Missouri. Um, we have been here before but it was like right before closing, we only had like five minutes to kind of run through it. So we came back to film a video for you guys. Um, there might be a part two but because it's a big place, but we'll see what we find. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing we look at is this decanter right here. Uh, I don't remember what the tag says, but I believe it's rainbow glass. I believe that the tag says something else, so let's see what it says here. This is pilgrim glass. Well, that could be, I'm not sure. Um, to be honest, I would say it's one or the other. It is a red crackle glass decanter with the correct stopper um, in red. And then here we have this really awesome Fenton Epern in the pink and yellow custard glass. Um, I believe at the end of the video, I'll show you guys this with the black light on it, but at the time we didn't have the black light on us. Look how beautiful it is. It's really pretty, and it was actually like super big, so that's pretty cool. I like how the little bottom, none of the little fingers were broke, so that's pretty cool considering how old it is. This is very early 1900s, I would say. Because only 120, or sorry, only 1,250 were made uh, at $900. We, of course, did leave it behind, but it was really awesome. And then back here in the corner, I have no idea anything about this, but check out this um, chandelier lamp, hanging lamp. It was really cool. Swag lamp, maybe? I'm not sure what they're called. Right here, I don't believe we've seen one of these before on the channel, but it is a Moon and Stars oil lamp converted into a electric lamp, but that was pretty awesome. This is the amber one. We've also seen a blue one before. Um, in just a second, we'll see what the price tag said, but it was, of course, out of our price range. I do believe it was priced quite high as well. Looks like it was priced at $450, so yeah, we did end up leaving it behind, but that's okay. I was having a hard time getting the camera to focus there, but just ignore that. They had this absolutely beautiful stained glass window and the one above it. I meant to get a video of the ones at the front door, but I guess I missed it. And this hanging Tiffany lamp would be good for like over your dining room table. Here we have a Fenton gl cased glass, cased cranberry glass vase. It isn't stamped, so that would mean it's before 1970. Um, you can see the pink through the white, which is kind of cool, but it's just how the sun was hitting it. If you had it out of the sunshine, I'm sure it wouldn't do that. And there's a larger one right here next to this other pink satin glass or cranberry satin glass, excuse me. And then we have a custard glass. Um, and then this is like a lampshade maybe i'm not sure what it was i was seeing there if it was connected or one piece but i think it's like a lampshade and then over there there was some more fenton right here we had a coffee table with two end tables or planter stands i guess if you want they were really pretty they had this beautiful floral pattern in the middle and then the little babies or cherubs if you will on the legs on both the end tables or plant stands and the coffee table both had these it was really cool to see definitely antique um, other than that I don't know anything about them but they were just cool so I wanted to show you guys now over here of course would it really be a glass video without moon and stars this is the largest canister in the moon and stars canister set in ruby not in barina just ruby um, it's, of course, Ellie Smith, and it was $56, so we left it there. That is quite, I would say, pretty high for just one canister, especially for just a large canister. Here, we had a compo. I believe it was Missing the Lid, Moon and Stars. This one is Amberina, Ellie Smith. Uh, I think it was priced pretty high, too. I think it was, like, $45. Then over here, we have the largest and second largest canister in the Moon and Stars canister set. Um, that one says 49, I think, and the other one, yes, 49. The other one's sticker was upside down, but it says 56. <laughs> so we left those behind, both all pretty high. 
Now, here is a piece we don't ever see. I've never seen one of these, but it is Roseville. We rarely see Roseville. We mostly see Hull, but they're pretty similar anyway. But this is like a planter. I believe Michael Todd in an episode called it a jardinier, but maybe I'm just mistaken. I, I wouldn't call it a jardinier. Let's see what the tag says. Yes, it does not say jardinier on it. It was really hard to read that also. <laughs> but it was $575, so we left it behind. Now, Luke went out and got our flashlight for us, but there was a lot of uranium glass here. I don't know a lot about uranium glass, except, hello, it's uranium glass. So, it goes into the black light, those salt and pepper shakers, and these candle holders. This, of course, was not. And then down here, we I wanted to look at this bowl, just because I thought it was pretty. But I shine the flashlight on it, and all of this down here is uranium as well. So this is a little footed candy dish, and then that is more of like a gravy boat looking guy. And just some plates and a mug. That mug could have been a creamer, I'm unsure. Gonna pick up the bowl and look at it. Vaseline glass footed swirl bowl, 50 bucks, $48. So, Vaseline glass. I thought Vaseline glass had more of, like, a yellow. Like, these ones are more of a yellow than a green, but they also are uranium glass. Like I said, I don't know a ton about uranium glass. I am learning, though, so bear with me. Maybe one day I'll be able to tell you, <laughs> but there is a lot of it, so, you know. Here, it was a very large Fenton display, which most of the glass in this video is actually Fenton, so that's cool, though. Um... We love Fenton, so there's an Epern over there that I believe I come back and look at at some point, but I guess I didn't see it when I was looking here. I thought that this piece of Fenton, this little like vinegar and oil decanter was very unique. I've never seen that style before, like the patterning in the glass. And then I believe I shined the flashlight on this guy, this basket here, which was a beautiful mint opalescent. Um, it did not glow. So, maybe the handle did a little bit, but I don't think it closed. Um, it was just pretty. So, we looked at it. Getting a little overview here. And then Luke wanted us to see this cute little Fenton pig. It was pretty cute. And green. I hadn't seen a green one, I don't think. Here, of course, more Fenton. We have a Fenton Epern, uh, milk glass Epern, and it's trimmed in a pink glass. Normally, I see a blue or a amber glass but this was pink really pretty for horned epern um don't quote me but i would believe this was around 200 dollars. which honestly since it was so large i thought was a decent price i've seen much smaller eperns priced for 200 dollars. so um but they really didn't want you to touch it and there i almost dropped my phone just ignore that <laughs> These two vases right here were very large and in charge. They said that they were antique Fenton, which I would believe they are quite old since they are custard glass. They had really beautiful paintings of these birds on them. Vintage Fenton bird hand-painted vase. And at $695, we did opt to leave them behind. I believe it was for the pair. I sure hope it was for the pair because that was quite expensive. But in this custard and pink glass, they did an excellent job painting them and they looked quite similar. They had different flowers though. Same bird, different flowers. We've been seeing these ruffled bowls sell for quite a lot on eBay. So if you do see them, go ahead and pick them up for a decent price, I mean. This is marked as Viking, but it is actually Fenton as well. This is a Fenton Valencia pattern. And it was at $135, which is astronomically overpriced. So we went ahead and left that behind. It is, again, not Viking. I believe it is Fenton. If I'm wrong, though, correct me in the comments, but I believe it is Fenton. It was pretty tall for a Valencia of that size, like that base size. And here we have some more cranberry glass. Lots of cranberry glass here. They had the coin dot you can see on the right there. And then these little canisters say Mary Gregory style. And I would also agree. I don't believe that they are Mary Gregory, but they are definitely based on her style. This bowl in the middle here and this vase over here that I'm fixing to pick up. Not this one, the one behind it, but this is the coin dot one I was talking about just a second ago. Also Fenton. 
It's at $72, so we left it behind. This vase and the bowl next to it. I very much loved this vase. I do not think it's Fenton, though I'm not sure. Um, let's see what the tag says. I'm sure I will try and look at it. But I really liked how it was like cut to cranberry from like milk glass to cranberry, like a case glass, but cut through. So did you see the cranberry? And then the flowers painted on it. Okay, so this is the thumbnail picture, and this is something you may not have seen before, but these are Victorian-style um, pickle jars, basically. They're called pickle casters, and you can see there on the side, they have, like, the tweezers to get your pickles out, and they held your pickles. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I have seen these one time before, and I have always wanted to see them in person. I had never seen them in person. Here's another one. These are the Fenton ones. And I would love to have one, but they were all priced between $250 and $350, so we didn't pick one up. But they are just really cool, and I thought that it would be great to show you guys, because I'm sure you guys did not know about those. So if you have one, that's awesome. And then here was two Jack in the Pulpits and some Fenton Fairy Lamps, and I'm shining the flashlight on them. That one kind of glows. This one really glows. But custard glass almost always glows, so you should look at it whenever, if you get a chance. Just get a flashlight on Amazon. They're pretty ex inexpensive, and go looking for them. Here's more custard glass. Fenton, of course. I really like the one on the right. And the one on the bottom here on the right also matches that one. So, yeah, lots of uranium glass, lots of interesting glass we hadn't seen. So, I'm glad to share with you guys. And then right here, the very end, is this really pretty black clock with the wood engraving. So, I don't really know a lot about it, but there were several clocks um, of this brand as well throughout the antique mall, so I wanted to show you guys. And right here, I'm showing you guys the big Epern with the black light on it. It glows, really, really glows. It's very green, custard glass. It would be like absolutely perfect for a Halloween display if it wasn't so expensive. But guys, remember to like and subscribe for us. Thank you. <laughs> okay guys, so this was Valley 65 Antiques in Ozark, Missouri. And all we found was the little owl, but he was really cute and he was by himself and he was a dollar. So we picked him up to go in my Salt Shaker collection. But thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.